You are looking at catalytic converters. You've heard us talking about thieves going after them on parked cars, but now it's happening here at the school bus depot. Thanks for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Jim Rosenfield. And I'm Jacqueline London. There's money in the metals. Catalytic converter thieves are going to great lengths to get their hands on precious metals, and it could now affect your child's ride to school. A South Jersey school bus yard is the most recent victim of likely repeat offenders. NBC10 South Jersey Bureau reporter Sydney Long is live in Gloucester Township to explain. Sid. Well, Jackie and Jim, good evening. About 50 feet along this fence line that you see here behind us, that's where police say a trio of thieves cut through the fence not once but twice last week, breaking into the school bus yard here in Gloucester Township. Now, all of their moves were caught on camera, and investigators say they left here with about a half dozen of the stolen converters in hand. The superintendent sharing with NBC10, we're talking about $15,000 in damages, not to mention the transportation headaches they faced this district transports eight transports 8,000 students each day. Like a broken record, catalytic converter thieves are at it again. It looks like one of the vehicles is driving through almost acting as a lookout, kind of scoping out the area. This time at the Gloucester Township school bus yard on Davistown Road, not once but twice in two nights. It crippled some of the district's smaller special needs buses, forcing them to scramble to find backup transportation. For our, our school district, um, fortunately, they, were, they had other buses that they were able to use to pick up the children for that day. The man with the white stripe on his jacket sleeve, he was present both nights, according to police. Watch as they set down their saws and stolen converters, likely looking for more targets before running off. It's a statewide problem. It's actually a nationwide problem. This has happened all over the country. Um, our detectives certainly work with the other outside agencies. We're constantly comparing notes. Police are hoping someone might recognize the Honda Pilot or this this white sedan or possibly the clothing worn by the suspected thieves and call police. It's one, two, three a week. Mike Torres with Meineke Total Car Care in Blackwood says they've been swamped with catalytic converter replacement repairs. Yeah, because people are upset. I had some of my customers crying, like physical tears coming out this girl's eyes. Torres showed us just how fast the sawzall can sever the metal, connecting the catalytic converter to your car's exhaust system. We cut here, cut here somewhere, and that thing drops down, they're gone. That's it. There are ways to protect your catalytic converter. Amazon, all, all the them websites, they sell cages. You could buy a cage for it. Uh, they sell another method is clamps with a, um, a cable, a braided cable. It locks it in place. There's also inexpensive alarm systems to help deter the bad guys. The vibration from the sawzalls cutting the pipe, it activates that alarm and you have a piercing beep and, you know, hopefully they run away. And Superintendent John Bilodeau uh, described these crooks as brazen and not scared. He says taxpayers pay for these buses. He will, needs to keep them running safely. So the district is currently pricing out some protective measures it can take. Now, the New Jersey Assembly has already passed a bill that would require operators of scrap metal businesses to only be able to buy used catalytic converters from someone who can prove a VIN number from a car it was taken from, a repair receipt, or another bill of sale. Reporting live in Gloucester Township tonight, I'm Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.